as I get started talking. Uh, the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, is I just want to go back through um, a couple but of items of really kind of getting you the basic understanding or initially the, the initial part that you guys need to understand on what we're going to be using today. Um, basically, if you guys remember, we have dealt with you know exponents, right? Remember at exponents, you have a base and you have the power. And what three squared basically says is three multiplied by itself two times. Correct? Okay. So if I was going to write 3 to the third power, that would equal 3 times 3 times 3. Does everybody follow me with that? We're good. And obviously, we know that 3 squared is going to equal 9. And 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. Does everybody follow? Okay. So, um, Jada, when we're looking at the square root, when we're looking at roots, what the root is basically is going to be exactly the same. It's going to be the inverse of that. What is going to be like the opposite. And if you guys remember, we talked about inverse operations. x plus 9 equals 10. The, we, we noticed about our variable is our variable is being added by 9. So we had to do the inverse of that, which would have been subtracting. So when you're thinking about squaring and square roots, um, what I want you guys to think of, the root is exactly the inverse operation of raising a number to a power. All right. So if I'm looking at this as square root, what I'm basically saying is what number multiplied by itself gives us 9? And we know this answer is going to be 3. Please note, it is not square root 3. Square root 3, that's not the answer. A lot of people still put the root over there. It's just the answer is 3. So therefore, if I was going to take the cube root of 27, we can all reason that the cube root of 27 is going to be what number multiplied by itself three times gives us 27? Three. three. Is everybody okay with this? So 